שלום. אנחנו נסתור אף בייסי קל הלל ימלה, יהאווה, באשם, יהאווה שי, באשם רקע קודש. דאבל אונס טו דה אלדס אנד אפוסטוס אוף גריט מילסטום פור טיצ'ינג אוס דה שוט אנד הו רו וויל. פיס אנד סייטיישנס אנד דה אקים דה ספרד אראונד דה פור קורנס אוף דה ארד. ספרד אינדס ורדס אנד סירידי אנד טרוף. שלום דה אלקט אוף איזריאל. כאן, אמ דה ברדר קוטאז אוף סייאן, קומינג באק טרו דה ספרד אנד פאוור אוף יהאווה באשם יהאווה שי ואין אל אדר לסן. And Lord willing, this video is edifying. I know what, I, what I want to go into today is, uh, yeah, man, my wife, she had a dream. And basically in that dream, we were being chased by, she doesn't know who, but we were being chased. Me, my wife, and, uh, and my child. So now she said she saw a, a big uh, fence. Yeah, not, not really a fence. It's like where we are running and you have a, a balcony, you know, you know, like in a castle. When you reach the end of the balcony, then you have this, this, uh, yeah, this, this little porch that you got to jump off, you know, that, that keeps you from falling. And that, that was too high, she said, you know, because on the other side, you know, there was, a, there was the, the ground. And it was too high for me to jump over and land you know safely so she said don't do it i'm like yeah i'm gonna do it yes i'm gonna do it don't worry you know and then i had my child in my arms and i jumped and then afterwards she she looked down and she saw our our bodies lifeless on the ground you know So basically, in the beginning, I, I told her, like, yeah, you know, it's nothing. Not all dreams have a meaning and stuff like that. But then she uh, went to the store and I was meditating upon some scriptures, you know, reading the Bible. And then this popped into my mind, you know, there is there's a demon roaming around right now in the midst of Israel, you know, because he, he got a... Mind you that the times that we are living in are very crucial. You know, there's, be, there's a sifting going on as well. You know, judgment is being brought forth upon these heathen and upon two-thirds of uh, Israel and also within, within the, the brotherhood. You know, within the brotherhood, there's the spirit of self-doubt because that made me think about this, this brother from America I, be, I believe he was a he's a Levite and he had got some judgment of the most high also of an angel because he had burned marks all over his body so basically that came into my mind that when my wife told me that you know she saw my our lifeless bodies laying on the ground then I was thinking about man this demon wants me to doubt you know Because we're getting closer, you know, we have all these chariot sightings, you have all these, these uh, judgments and, and nature, um, yeah, nature incidents that are happening. And, you know, the time is near. And Satan, these demons, they are doing their, their best also to get us out of the truth or to make you, you doubt yourself, you know. And so I put a couple of scriptures together just to get rid of that uh, that doubt demon, you know, that self-doubt demon. Without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it. Let's go into the book of Matthew 14 and 31. And immediately Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore this thou doubt you see so you're you're not supposed to doubt as soon as you doubt that's when things go wrong you know because i was looking at some uh, looking for some pictures also you know for doubt self-doubt do without the demon so lucky I bear with me for a second 
and this is what you come across you know uh, um, people with that don't, that don't have a clear mind you know that your mind is all over the place that you're not focused you see you can't think like this if you're you're if you have heavy thoughts on your on your head on your mind you know you don't have a clear head you know so keep your eyes single you know focus on the faith focus on your shy and don't doubt let's go to Matthews 21 verse 21 Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them fairly I say unto you if ye have faith and doubt not ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree but also if ye shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea it shall be done you see if ye have faith fairly i say unto you if ye have faith you know without wavering being unmovable that's that's having faith and doubt not you shouldn't doubt you shouldn't waver you know nothing is going to be impossible and then even when you tell, tell this mountain to 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 be removed and go into the sea it shall be done so that's how important it is not only to have faith but to not doubt because this demon is really you know it was since at the day of atonement or before the day of atonement you know things started to come in my mind that are not of myself you know that i'm uh, doubting myself or, or, or doubting um my place or my my worth things like that and now again through my wife i see that it's a demon man you know when you when you get better in certain things then the demons get stronger also to test you you know to knock you off your off your feet if you do the bidding and if you glorify yahweh basham yahweh shai he's gonna He's going to send a stronger demon to make you even more stronger, you know. And he's not going to give you anything that you can't handle. This is Matthew 17, verse 20. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, because a mustard seed is one of the smallest, tiniest seeds, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you you see what i told you nothing is going to be impossible but beware of your unbelief you know beware of your doubt let's go to the book of first timothy's two verse eight I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. So when you pray, let me read it again. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands. That's what we do when we say, Kal halal yahweh basham yahweh shai. You know, we open up our hands, we're lifting up our hands without wrath and doubting. You know, you should have a clear mind. You shouldn't be having a a cloudy mind. You should you should be focused on the faith, because we are, you know, because through faith, through grace, are we saved? It's like yeah, through uh, through faith, we are saved by grace. You know. Let me just get it before I butcher it. <laughs> Let me go to, it was in Ephesians 2, verse 8. Come on, this is it. For by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is a gift of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? So we are, for by grace are we saved. How? Through faith. Through being unmovable. Because Yahweh Shai had grace upon us. 
by giving us this gift. You see? So for by grace are we saved through faith. So you have to have that faith as a mustard seed. And not having doubt anywhere in your mind. You see? Let's go to James. James 1 and 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So if you're, you have a clouded head, then you're going to have clouded judgment also. You can't see clear. You can't, you can't focus on the, the prize, man. So that demon is out there, Akim, and try to, you know, stay away from it. Try to fight it. You have to fight it. Let's go to Luke 12, verse 29. I don't want to make this video too long. This is a, supposed to be an exhortation video, you know, that our brothers are, are exhorted by this. This is Luke 12, verse 29. And seek not, Salakia, and seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of a doubtful mind. You see? Let me start at verse 28. Because this speaks about how Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is going to take care of us, you know. And especially during that day of the famine, you know. Because there's going to come a great famine upon this earth. And if you don't have faith and if you're wavering if you're doubtful then he's not gonna he's not gonna supply you he's not gonna give you anything to put in your belly you know this is uh, luke 12 and 28 if then yahweh so clothed the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven how much more will he clothe you O ye of little faith, and seek not ye, Salakia, and seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. You see? This is how you gotta be. And I'm gonna close it off with this. This is Romans 8. Verse 38, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahushai HaMashiach, our Lord. You see, so you got to be so dedicated to this you know what do you got to lose you know that reincarnation exists so if you lose this life and you know what the scripture says he who loved this life shall lose it and he who hated it shall gain it you know roughly paraphrasing so you know that after what you know what's after this after this life so why would you doubt you know yeah, man, so Lord willing, this video was edifying, and I want to say, Kal halal yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rekha Kodash, Shalom, Akim. Keep on pushing.